Isang magandang magandang araw po sa inyo mga kasambuhay. Ako po si Father Domi Guzman ng Society of St. Paul, Doing All for the Gospel. At sa ngalan po ng ating mga kasamahan, ng mga pari, mga brothers, mga junior professed members at mga seminarista ng aming pong ecclesiastical province ng Pilipinas at Macau, at gayon din po sa ngalan ng mga pari ng Arts Diocese of Manila at ng TB Maria, kayo ay muli naming uh, uh, tinitipan na makiisa at makimisa ngayon po ikadalawampu't anim ng Mayo 2019. Ito po ang last Sunday ng Mayo at ikaanim na linggo naman sa atin pong patuloy na pagdiriwang ng Pasko ng muling pagkabuhay. And uh, of course, nais nice po nating isama sa atin pong pananalangin ang ating mga homebound na mga may sakit, lalo-lalo na po yung mga nagpapagaling na mga cancer patients, no? Yeah, yung mga members po ng Morning Glory, no? Ni uh, Sister Charity at uh, gayon din po yung Cancer Support Group ng Makati Medical Center, no? Uh, sina Lisa, sina Yoli, no? sila Eleanor at uh, yung iba pa mga kasamahan po ninyo. And then we would like also to pray para po sa ating mga elderly, yung mga caregivers po. Siyempre, lalo-lalo na po uh, ang mga doktor at mga health workers na nasa mga ERs at gayon din po ang ating mga libo-libo na mga OFWs na alam po natin Linggo-linggo ay kadaupang palad po natin dito po sa ating pagninilay ng salita ng Diyos. Binabati rin natin at ipinapanalangin ang ating mga Canada-based na mga mission partners. Yan si Brother Alex Pideris, si Dorothy Santos Merck, Annie Adorna, Emily at Dante Reyes, Joy at Alex Reyes, si Dr. Joe Adorna Guzman at si Alicia Adorna at gayon din po ang inyong mga kanya-kanyang mga pamilya. Ang ating mga long time na mga kasambuhay mission partners, no? ang Masigan Family, Chowa Family, Arohado Family, ang family po ni George at ni Noemi Villarus, ni Didith at Joey Jacob, Mariel Diaz, ang kusina ni Kambal, ni Irma at Delio San Miguel dyan po sa Marikina, si Corazon Ochoa at Roxita Kauyan sa Discovery Bay sa Hong Kong, si Alma Gonzales at ang kanyang pamilya po dyan sa Los Angeles. At gayon din po si Romel Salvador, si Gemma Candela, si May Asuncion Recio, Rachel Esteban, at Leilani Palladio Himotea. Binabati rin natin at isinasama natin sa atin pong mga mass intentions for today, ang atin pong mga bagong mga kakilala sa pamagitan po ng ating mga pilgrimages sa Holy Land, yung uh, spell group na nakasama po natin ng Marso sa taong ito. Ang uh, grupo din ng mga... Uh, Yellow group naman no ng October 2018 yan no lalo-lalo na po sina Father Randy, Charlie at Joe Alves ng uh, Recoletos Fathers, si Father Joy, isang Merinol missionary diyan po sa Taiwan, ang Sister Cora Cabral, Geraldine Lee, Grace at Jerry Lara, si Mary Joyce Brillo, Jimmy Olaso, dyan po sa Washington. Si Attorney Jane San Benaventura, si Nino Molina, at ang kanya pong uh, nanay na si Marites. No? Si Willie at Arlina Onglao at si Marites din, dyan po sa Journeys of Faith. Si Albert, si Anton Santos, at ang uh, auntie, si Kuya, uh, si Auntie Juliet O'Reilly. Si Mr. and Mrs. Benji Datok, Chris C., Highland, Rosalie, uh, si Rosebel at si William, 
At gayon din ang Tantuico family, si Dana, si Kathleen at si Tal, ang mag-asawang Iris at uh, Val Rivero, si Silvet at syempre po si Grace Pulido Tan at Nonoy Tan. Binabati rin po natin ang Recto family at ang kanilang mga kaibigan kasama na po riyan si Pearl at si Rafi Rodriguez na nakasama din po natin sa pilgrimage ng March 2019. And um, eto pong linggong ito, we would like to uh, acknowledge and uh, say thank you sa atin pong mga love offerers, no? si Evelyn Angsvik, si Cinderella Galimpin, Miguel Ralph Derry Ebdani, Noel Areta, ang isa pong hindi nagpakilala na kasambuhay natin mula po sa Capitol Hills. Gayun din po isang hindi rin nagpakilalang kasambuhay mula po sa UST, Espanya at sa La Union, sa San Fernando. Si Mary Jane Tubola, Lourdes Isorena, Jean Ovilia, Miguel Alcantara, uh, si Joyce Bellias, Ronald Santos Tabora, Alan Arano Briones, ang Tita Anos, uh, si Jose Raul Raus Tering Tering, yan. Uh, si John Dexter Servitilio, Lydia Felipe Pascual, Rosalinda Santa Maria, Jeffrey Porcalia, at uh, lahat po kayo na regular na nagbibigay ng inyong pledge, inyong tithe, ng inyong love offering, whatever you call it. No, maraming maraming salamat po and may God continue to bless you, no, kayong mga kasambuhay cooperators po natin. Sa araw pong ito, gaya po ng inannounce natin, tayo po ay uh, tumutungtong sa ika na linggo, 6th Sunday at 6th week ng Easter. At um, tinitignan ko po at pinagninilayan ko yung mga pagbasang ipapahayag natin sa banal na misa para po sa linggong ito. Ang dating po sa akin ng mga pagbasa is that they invite us to reflect kung papaanong ang buhay kasama ang Kristong muling na buhay is a call to a new way of worship and community. In fact, yan po ang tawag sa mga unang Kristiyano, the followers of the new way. Bago pa sila tawagin ng mga Christians, they were known as the followers of the new way. Yan. At uh, dito sa bagong pamamaraan ng pagsamba, bagong pamamaraan ng pagiging community na naguugat sa bagong buhay ni Kristong muling na buhay, ay uh, ididiin po sa mga readings natin ngayon ang papel na ginagampanan ng banal na Espiritu Santo. Yan. So, halimbawa, sa atin pong first reading, Acts 15, verse 1 to 2, at verse 22 to 29, ibinigay po sa atin yung isang abbreviated, pinaiksi na kwento ng Council of Jerusalem na kung saan kailangang magpulong ng mga unang alagad kasama po si Pablo at si Bernabe. Ano ang gagawin nila doon sa dumadami na mga hentil na nagko-convert sa pagiging mga tagasunod ng Panginoong Hesus. Kailangan ba silang ipasa ilalim sa mga kaugalian ng mga Hudyo? Kailangan ba silang ipailalim sa kaugalian ni Moses? At uh, alam niyo po, yung naging kasagutan sa konseho na yan ng Jerusalem, sabi nila at maririnig po natin sa pagbasa mamaya, It was decided by the Holy Spirit uh, and by us not to place on you any burden beyond necessities. At uh, dito, apat lang po ang binanggit. Bawal ang meat, 
offered to idols, bawal ang dugo, bawal ang pagkain ng mga uh, strangled animals na kung saan ang dugo ay hindi po lumabas, at gayon din po, bawal yung tinatawag na mga incestuous or unlawful marriages. Ayan. And then, sa atin po namang ikalawang pagbasa mula sa aklat ng Apokalipsis o Revelations chapter 21 ay maririnig natin ang vision ng bagong Jerusalem na kung saan sasabihin po sa atin, I saw no temple in the city for its temple is the Lord God and the Lamb. And there is no need for the sun and the moon and the lamp, for the glory of God is the light, and the Lamb is the Lamb. So, magikita po natin no? ang kaibahan ng heavenly Jerusalem. Hindi na kailangan ang ano pa mang ilaw. Sabi dyan, kakaiba ang luwalhati ng Diyos ang magiging liwanag ng lahat. And then of course, Ang gospel reading po natin mula sa John 14, 23 to 29, maririnig po natin ang pahayag, The Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I have told you. So, brothers and sisters, kung talagang tayo po ay tagasunod, ng Kristong muling nabuhay, uh, there is a new way ng community, there is a new way of worship, there is a new way of life that the risen Lord is opening to us. So, yan ang tanong. Nakikita ba natin ang kaibahan na dala ng muling pagkabuhay ng Panginoong Jesus? Lalong-lalo na po, ang pakikinig sa udyok ng Espiritu Santo. Hindi na lamang yung mga kaugalian, hindi na lamang yung mga batas na sinauna, kung hindi patuloy nating tinitignan saan tayo ginagabayan ng Espiritu ng Diyos na muling nabuhay. Kaya nga po, alam nyo, ang Easter ay magtatapos nga sa kapistahan ng Espiritu Santo sa darating pong araw ng Pentecostes. Narito na po ang ating banal na misa mula po sa oratorio ni Maria, reyna ng mga apostol, dito po sa local community ng Society of St. Paul sa Antonio Village, Makati, Metro Manila. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. In view of Jesus' impending departure to be with his Father in heaven, the believers are reminded that they will not be left orphans. Jesus promises his disciples that he will come back. Moreover, the Father will send the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. The Advocate will make the presence of Jesus among his disciples more intense and more fruitful. The Holy Spirit will make the disciples know and understand Jesus as they have never done before. 
Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that we may celebrate with heartfelt devotion these days of joy, which we keep in honor of the risen Lord, and that what we relieve in remembrance, we may always hold to in what we do. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Some who had come down from Judea were instructing the brothers, unless you are circumcised according to the Mosaic practice, you cannot be saved. Because there arose no little dissensions and debate by Paul and Barnabas with them. It was decided that Paul Barnabas and some of the others should go up to Jerusalem to the apostles and elders about this question. The apostles and elders, in agreement with the whole church, decided to choose representatives and to send them to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas. The ones chosen were Judas, who was called Barsabas and Silas, leaders among the brothers. 
This is the letter delivered by them, the apostles and the elders, your brothers, to the brothers in Antioch, Syria, and Cilicia of Gentile origin, greetings. Since we have heard that some of our number who went out without any mandate from us have upset you with their teachings and disturbed your peace of mind, we have with one accord decided to choose representatives to send them to you along with our beloved Barnabas and Paul who have dedicated their lives to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So, we are sending Judas and Silas who will also convey the same message by word of mouth. It is the decision of the Holy Spirit and of us not to place any on you any burden beyond these necessities, namely to abstain from meat sacrificed to idols, from blood, from meats of strangled animals, and from unlawful marriage. If you keep free from this, you will be doing what is right. Farewell. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O God, let all the nations praise you. O God, let all the nations praise you. May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon earth among all nations, your salvation. O God, let all the nations praise you. May the nations be glad and exult, because you rule the peoples in equity. The nations on the earth you guide. O God, let all the nations praise you. May the peoples praise you, O God. May all the peoples praise you. May God bless us, and may all the ends of the earth Fear him. O oh God, let all the nations praise you. A reading from the book of Revelation. The angel took me in spirit to a great high mountain and showed me the holy city Jerusalem coming down out of heaven from God. It gleamed with the splendor of God. Its radiance was like that of a precious stone, like jasper, clear as crystal. It had a massive high wall with 12 gates where 12 angels were stationed and on which names were inscribed, the names of the 12 tribes of the Israelites. There were three gates facing east, three north, three south, and three west. The wall of the city had 12 courses of stones as its foundation, on which were inscribed the 12 names of the 12 apostles of the Lamb. I saw no temple in the city, for its temple is the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb. The city had no need of sun or moon, to shine on it, for the glory of God gave it light, and its lamp was the lamp. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint john glory to you o lord jesus said to his disciples whoever loves me will keep my word and my father will love him and we will come to him and make our dwelling with him 
Whoever does not love me does not keep my words. Yet the word you hear is not mine, but that of the Father who sent me. I have told you this while I am with you, the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I told you. Peace I live with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give it to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. You heard me tell you I am going away and I will come back to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice that I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it happens, so that when it happens, you may believe. Sisters and brothers, my dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Gandang araw po sa ating mga kasambuhay, sa iba't ibang dako ng mundo. Nakasama po natin, nagdiriwa ngayon ng ating banal na misa. Tayo po ay nasa panahon pa rin ng muling pagkabuhay, Easter. Hindi po sapat ang isang araw para ipagdiwang ang Easter. Meron tayong isang buong season. Ito po ay pitong linggo at uh, pagkatapos ng pitong linggo yan, ipagdiriwang natin ang Pentecost. Yung pagpapadala uh, ng Holy Spirit na tinukoy po ni Jesus sa ating Ebanghelyo ngayong araw. Yun ang kanyang pangako. Kung natapos po niya ang kanyang pagpapakasakit, pagkamatay, at muling pagkabuhay, hindi pa rin po sapat yun, hindi pa kumpleto. Makukumpleto lamang kung sabi nga niya siya ay aakyat sa Ama at pagkatapos ibaba pa niya ang Holy Spirit. Makukumpleto na yung kanyang misyon kapag naipadala niya ang Holy Spirit sa ating lahat. Uh, ngayon po ay nasa ika-anim na linggo na tayo ng muling pagkabuhay. Pitong linggo po lahat yan, kaya ngayon po ang bisperas ng huling linggo. Bisperas ng ascension, pag-akyat ni Jesus. At alam niyo naman, kapag bisperas, uh, masaya ang mga tao. Kapag halimbawa, bisperas ng birthday mo, no? Bisperas ng piyesta, pista sa nayon, uh, magkakatay na ng baboy, kaya luluto na ang dinuguan, no? mga laman loob. No? Ngayon noon, bisperas ng pag-akyat ni Jesus sa langit. At ngayong muling pagkabuhay, panahon ng muling pagkabuhay, binabalikan natin parang isang uh, dokumento na binuksan sa atin ng mga abogado ito yung uh, huling bilin noong namatay. No? Ito yung kanyang last will and testament. No? Binubuksan sa atin. Di ba kapag may namatay, sasabihin natin, ano ba yung mga huli niyang sinabi? Ano ba yung mga bilin niya? No? Kaya ngayon, no, binubuksan natin muli, tinitingnan natin, ano ba yung mga bilin ni Jesus nung siya ay kasakasama pa ng mga apostol. Ibang klasing namatay ito kasi namatay pero muling nabuhay. At ito ho, magandang balikan, yung kanyang may pit na bilin sa mga apostol. Sabi niya sa kanila, uh, kung nais niyong sumunod sa akin, sa pupuntahan ko, isa lang ang paraan. Love. Sabi niya, whoever does not love me does not keep my words. Yet the word you hear is not mine, but that of the Father who sent me. So kung gusto natin sabihin, mahal natin ang Diyos, mahal natin ang bawat isa, kinakailangan daw susundin ang mga salita ni Jesus. Yun ang bataya ng tunay na pag-ibig, yung sinabi ni Jesus, yung kanyang mga itinuro. Ang love daw ho ay hindi lang feeling, hindi lang yung kursonada o gusto, kung hindi pagsunod sa salita ni Jesus. Pag sinusunod natin yon, natututo tayong tunay na magmahal. Whoever loves me, whoever does not love me does not keep my words. No? Whoever loves me will keep my word and my Father will love him and we will come to him and make our dwelling with him. Alain niyo yon. 
si Jesus daw ho at ang Ama ay titira sa atin. Gagawin niyang tahanan ang ating sarili. The Father and I will dwell on Him, whoever keeps my word. Napakinggan po natin sa ating first reading kung paanong nagsimula ng lumaganap ang mga tagasunod ni Jesus. Mula sa Jerusalem, sila po ay pumupunta na sa iba't ibang dako ng daigdig at pinapangaral na nila ang salita ng Diyos. Yung sinasabi nga nating batayan ng pag-ibig. At uh, ito pong mga alagad ay um, pursigido sa pagpapalaganap ng salita ng Diyos sa iba't ibang dako ng mundo. Sa atin pong uh, first, uh, second reading uh, sa book of Revelation, sinabi sa atin na uh, bubuksan na ang hiwaga ng Diyos sa atin sa book of Revelation na ang kahulugan po ay uh, opening the curtains. Yan daw ang isang salit, kahulugan ng Revelation o Apocalypse. Apocalypse means opening the curtains. Hahawiin na yung tabing. Kumbaga dati, merong tabing. Itinago pa yung, yung tungkol sa Panginoon. Hindi pa alam ng tao. Nakatakip pa. Pero ngayon, Nasa bisperas na tayo ng pag-akyat ni Jesus, malapit na pong hawiin ang tabing. At sinabi doon kanina, binanggit yung uh, description ng pag ng Diyos. Mga mahahalagang mga bato no, doon sa kaharian. No, sa gisag ng uh, pagbabalik ng Diyos at ang pagbubuo niya ng kanyang kaharian no, sa langit. Tandaan po natin, ang presensya ng Diyos ay iba kumpara sa dating niyang presensya nung siya'y naririto. Si Jesus, nung siya po'y dumating, ang una niyang ibinigay sa mga alagad ay ang kanyang kapayapaan. Peace, ang sabi niya. Padadalan nga raw ang mga alagad ng Holy Spirit, subalit sa ngayon, ang ibinigay niya sa kanyang mga alagad ay peace ang iniiwan sa kanyang mga alagad. At alam naman natin na ang peace ay nangangahulugan ng uh, lahat ng mabuting bagay na galing sa Panginoon na wa ay mapa sa iyo. Yun ang hinahangad ng Diyos para sa mga alagad niya at para sa ating lahat. Shalom! Para sa mga Hudyo, yan ay greeting nila. Maaring good morning, good afternoon, good evening, po pwedeng kapag kayo ay mag-honeymoon, happy honeymoon. Shalom. Kano man ang maimportanteng okasyon, shalom. Pero sabi nga po, walang isang salita sa Ingles, maging sa Tagalog, ang makakasapat para ipaliwanag sa atin ang kabuoan ng kahulugan ng salita ng mga Hudyo. Shalom. Isang panalangin at isang wish na ibinibigay ni Jesus para sa ating lahat. Nawa ang mabubuting bagay na galing sa Panginoon mapa sa inyo. Sa gitna raw po ng mga pagsubok sa buhay, sa gitna ng mga sunod-sunod na dagok sa buhay, hindi sinasabi na porket si Jesus ay muli nang nabuhay, wala nang problema. Hindi po. Ang sinasabi, hanggang tayo ay nandito sa mundo, kakambal na natin ang mga pagsubok. Pero kung meron tayong kalooban na taglay ang pag-ibig ng Diyos at ang kapayapaang ibinibigay niya, tayo raw ay magiging mahinahon at kaya nating harapin ang lahat ng pagsubok ng buhay. Kaya nating suungin ang lahat ng mga pagsubok. Kaya ito po yung napakagandang dulot sa atin ng uh, panahon ng muling pagkabuhay habang tayo ay nasa bisperas ng pag-akyat ni Yesus sa langit sa paghawi ng tabing. Ipapakita na sa atin ang kumpletong, ang kabuuan ng naging misyon ng ating Panginoon. Habang tayo ay nananabik, naghihintay sa pagdating ng Espiritu Santo. Panibagong bugso 
ng Espiritu Santo sa ating buhay. Pagpalain po tayo ng poong may kapal. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. As we remember the words and promises of Christ, let us pray to the Father that He may pour out His Holy Spirit to lead us to take the path of truth and charity, entering fully into the meaning of His divine life. With faith and love, we pray, listen to your church, O Lord. Listen to your church, O Lord. Give strength to the church and her leaders. May your people hold on to your teachings and renew themselves through a change of heart and a constant pursuit of charity, we pray. Listen to your church, O Lord. Give strength to the sick, the lonely, the destitute, and those who suffer in any way. Make them well in soul and body, and restore them to their families and the church, we pray. Listen to your church, O Lord. Give peace and progress to our nation. May we desire to ensure justice for our brothers and sisters by sharing the good things you give us, we pray. Listen to your church, O Lord. Give eternal rest to our beloved dead. May they shine with the radiance of your glory in your kingdom, we pray. Listen to your church, O Lord. Father, send us your spirit of faithfulness and love. Make us your dwelling place here on earth. May we keep your word and grow in your love now and forever. Amen. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. 
It is truly really right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and never pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic cause sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said a blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and, and, and giving you thanks, he said a blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Luis Antonio, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of his family, whom you have summoned before you. 
In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, thy kingdom come. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the peace of Christ. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Behold Jesus, the risen Christ, who desires to make his dwelling within us. He takes away our sins. Happy are we who are invited to partake in this holy banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. For those who cannot receive communion, join us in praying the spiritual communion. Jesus, Master, you assure me I am the life. Whoever eats my flesh 
and drinks my blood will have eternal life. In baptism and in the sacrament of reconciliation, you have communicated to me this life of yours. Now you nourish it by making yourself my food. Take my heart, detach it from the vain things of the world. With all my heart, I love you above all things because you are infinite good and eternal happiness. Amen. Prayer of Overseas Workers Saint Michael the Archangel, I am about to leave my family and the physical and emotional distance affect me. The physical distance means I will be living in a totally different culture where everything will be new. The emotional distance implies that no longer will I be able to embrace my loved ones when I want to. You have done special mission for God and you did it confidently, trusting that everything will be all right because our Creator has everything in His hands. Share with me the same faith. Make this travel a part of my mission here on earth. I have to leave for the good of my family and loved ones. I have to leave to do God's will. While I am away from them, protect them from dangers. Let them feel my presence through my letters and calls. Make us a strong family, even though we are far from one another. Saint Michael, through your intercession, may Jesus be the light of the family and Mary be our mother too. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow for the blessing. May your family always rejoice together, O God, over the mysteries of redemption they have celebrated and grant its members the perseverance to attain the effects that flow from them through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the blessings of the Lord be upon you. The blessings of the Father and the Son and may the Spirit of God, the Spirit of love be with you all the way. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go in the peace and love of Jesus and Mary. Thanks be to God. Tayo po ay uh, nagpapasalamat sa ating paring tagapagdiwang sa misa po natin ngayong huling linggo ng Mayo. Uh, pasasalamat natin sa isang buwan ng Mayo na atin pong ipipinid sa loob ng ilang araw. And uh, ngayon naman po sa ating pabaong katikismo, natapos na po natin yung Gaudete et Exultate ni Pope Francis tungkol sa pagtawag sa kabanalan sa ating panahon. Kaya po sa araw na ito, sinisimulan natin ang pagtalakay sa encyclical letter naman 
ng ating Santo Papang si Pope Francis on the care of our common home sa atin pong pangangalaga sa ating bahay na bigay ng Panginoon at ito'y walang iba siyempre kung hindi ang ating mundo. Yan. Ito po ang encyclical letter na Laudato Si ni Pope Francis. Uh, Unang-una, uh, binubuksan po ni Pope Francis ang kanyang encyclical sa pamagitan po ng mga salita na binigkas ni San Francisco de Asis, yung tinatawag po natin na kantikel o himno ng creation na kung saan sa wikang Italyano, sabi po ni Pope, uh, sabi po ni Saint Francis Laudato si Signore. Yan. Praise to you, my Lord. Ayan. Sa dinami-dami ng iyong ginawa. At uh, dito, pinaalalahanan tayo ni Pope Francis, unang-una, na ang pagtalakay tungkol sa pangangalaga ng kalikasan at ng mundo ay hindi lamang po dahil sa isyu ng global warming, hindi po dahil sa nakikisakay, nakikiuso lamang ang simbahan sa isyu ng ecology kung hindi uh, ito pong responsibilidad na pangalagaan ang kalikasan at ang mundo. Ito'y nag-uugat sa atin pong pagiging connected sa mundong ito sa simula't simula pa bilang mga anak ng Diyos. Ayun, no? Tayo pong lahat at ang mundo at ang kalikasan ay uh, nakikibahagi sa iisang connectivity. Ayan, no? Isang salita na napakapamilyar po sa mga araw na ito. At ano yung connectivity na yan? Na tayong lahat po ay nanggaling sa kamay, sa isipan, sa kalooban at pagmamahal ng Diyos. No? We are all part of that divine plan of creation na ginawa po ng Diyos. At dahil po dyan, ang sabi po ni Pope Francis, nothing in this world, wala sa mundong ito, ang dapat ay indifferent tayo. Hindi po natin pwedeng baliwalain ang anuman sa mundong ito, lalong-lalo na po ang kalikasan. So, ang lahat pong ito ay uh, mayroon tayong kaugnayan na nagmula pa sa gawain ng Diyos. Ito pong ganitong kaisipan ng uh, simbahan, although nandiyan yan sa Bible, o oh, sa Genesis, at nandiyan yan sa mga pangaral nga ni, ni St. Francis of Assisi, ito ay pinaigting ng mga Santo Papa sa atin pong modern times simula po kay John the 23rd. Ayan, si St. John the 23rd, ang pasimuno po ng Second Vatican Council, ay naglabas din po ng uh, kanyang encyclical letter na ang titulo po ay Pacem in Teres, Peace on Earth, Kapayapaan sa Mundo, na kung saan kanya dapat ay kapayapaan ang bumabalot at hindi hidwaan ang bumabalot sa lahat ng tao sa mundo. So, at uh, dito ipinapaliwanag po ng banal na Santo Papang si John the 23rd na tayong lahat bilang mga tao, we share a common home. Ayan. Isang tirahan. Ano man ang ating lahi, ano man ang ating uh, prinsipyo, ano man ang ating pinaniniwalaan, iisa ang tirahang binigay sa atin ng dakilang lumikha. Si Paul VI naman, sabi nga nila, the most modern of all the popes, no? siya po ang nagtapos ng Second Vatican Council noong uh, 1971. O, oh, Uh, walong taon pagkatapos po ng Pacem in Teres ay uh, naglabas po naman si uh, Pope uh, 
Paul the uh, na uh, kanya pong uh, encyclical tungkol sa industrialization no na kung saan sabi niya dahil sa industrialization uh, nagkakaroon ng exploitation ng kalikasan at dahil po diyan ay naroroon ang risk ang threat na pwede natin pong sirain ang mundo ngunit tayo rin naman ay magiging biktima ng pagsira sa mundong ito at dahil po dyan, sa kanya pong pagtatalumpati sa uh, Food and Agriculture Organization ng United Nations uh, si Pope Paul VI ay uh, nagbadya na pwede magkaroon ng ecological catastrophe dulot ng napakabilis na industrialisasyon na hindi po tumitingin ano ang magiging consequence neto sa pangkahalatan na balanse ng uh, kalikasan at ng mundo. So, makikita po natin na Uh, malalim po itong ugat na ito ng tinatawag po natin na ecological concern at creation spirituality ng simbahan na nilalaman po netong encyclical na Laudato Si. Of course, titignan po natin ang mga iba pang laman ng encyclical na ito na alam po natin ay napapanahon hindi lang po sa atin sa Pilipinas, kung hindi sa buong mundo na bago maging late ang lahat, matuto tayong pahalagahan ang iisang tirahan na bigay ng Diyos sa atin. In the meantime, we would like to invite you all na maging kasambuhay Pauline Cooperator. No? Sa panong paraan, number one, pwede ho kayong maging ka-partner natin sa misyon sa pamagitan po ng inyong mga lab offerings. No? Alam nyo naman, kailangan natin ng logistics at patuloy na updating ng atin pong mga instrumento upang sa ganon ay patuloy din po nating ma-produce itong Sambuhay TV Mass at ang iba pang programa ng St. Paul's Audiovisuals. Kaya po, nasa screen po natin ang iba't ibang bank accounts na gamit po natin para po sa apostoladong ito. And pakipidback po kami kung may problema sa mga bank accounts na ito. Pangalawa, you can also be a kasambuhay uh, Pauline Cooperator sa pamagitan po ng pagpopromote neto pong ating apostolado. Kaya po nasa screen natin yung ating cable networks na gamit po ng uh, TV Maria, no? at gayon din po ang ating iba't ibang cyberspace accounts na pwede nyo pong ipamalita sa inyong mga kaibigan sa abroad upang sa ganon, linggo-linggo, araw-araw, sila ay makaisa at makamisa po natin dito po sa ating sambuhay, ah, hindi lang Sunday kung hindi daily mass. No? And of course, you can always uh, text us ang ating pong text number nasa screen din po natin para, sa po, para po sa inyong mga mass intentions at iba pang mga sharings. Sa ngalan po ng St. Paul's Audiovisual at gayon din po ng Sambuhay Television uh, sa pamagitan po ni na Father Resti de la Peña at ni Cleric Edward Dantes at Kib de Mataktak doing all for the gospel sabi nga namin, iniiwan po namin sa inyo ang panalangin ito ni Blessed James Alberione to spend the week well. My dear and my sweet Mother Mary, keep your holy hand upon me. Guard my mind, my heart, my senses, that I may never commit sin. Bless my thoughts, affections, words, and actions that I may always please you And Jesus, my God, Jesus and Mary, give me your most holy blessings. Amen. Amen.